welcome to the virtual groom room. My name is Jackie Harris and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. Now my choice of soap today is going to be from Talbot Shaving in collaboration with Male Grooming and this is Tangerine. I'd like to caveat this by saying this was sent to me for free. Uh, I've become pretty good friends with Chad from Talbot Shaving and uh, he sent this to me as a gift. Thank you very much. Quite frankly for someone that spends so much money a freebie now and again to keep Kind of content on this channel is very welcome so thank you chad i'm using that with the the matching splash from male grooming that was also provided to me by carve um so this set is free i really really appreciate it the scent on this is it's tangerine really uh it's a very sharp tangerine to my nose Th just imagine getting that tangerine in the summer and chopping it in half and just putting it to your nose it's actually very, very nice. I don't think there have been many orange or tangerine scents executed very well. For me, this is alongside Nordist is one of the best, in my opinion. My razor of choice today is going to be the Charcoal Goods Level 2. And inside that, I'm going to be using a blade. Um, I'm going to be using the Rapira Platinum Lux. So the reason I've not put it in yet is because I want, I want you guys to see whether I get annoyed with the packaging or not, because something that really, really irritates me with blades are uh, glue dots. And it doesn't look like there's gonna be glue dots on these, just but judging by how they're wrapped. Let's get one out. Mm. If there's glue dots on this, I'm gonna be kind of miffed, to be honest. So they're kind of, they look to be double wrapped, so they're kind of like that. So I'm gonna, oh, looking hopeful. Looking hopeful for no glue dots. The glue dots annoy me. I found that with a lot of Russian blades, the glue, the glue dots are so bad that um, sometimes the paper sticks to them and then I need to fucking wrestle the paper off of the blade. At the moment, it doesn't look like there's any glue dots, but... Nope. Actually, there's a tiny bit. You can probably see but they're not so bad that I need to fight with them. So let's put that in there. I've never used this blade before. I don't quite know what to expect. Um, so I guess we'll find out. So let's chuck that in there. Set that on the posts. There's no razor for me that's easier to assemble than the carve. So this isn't too bad though. Tighten this guy up. There we go. Cool, okay, so let's chuck that over there. Our brush of choice has to be the Goblet of Fire by That Done Rob. It, you know, orange, orange, why not? Let's, uh, this has a V3 tip knot, it's 26 mil. The loft is quite high on it, uh, but not so high that it creates a problem. Not quite flop it in levels, let's just say that. So let's, uh, let's get loaded up here. I'm very familiar with this Talbot sharing base. I have 13 Talbot shaving soaps. Uh, Talbot remain one of my favorite artisans. He also, um, with every soap cell, donates money to the uh, Trust for Public Land, I believe, which is very generous of him. Oh man. Scent strength is probably a five out of 10. It's about mid. I'm not normally a big citrus head, but I love the smell of orange. The orange is my favorite citrus. This is tangerine, so it's not orange, but it's still, still orange. This is in his V2 base. I've had the pleasure of trying his V3. Um, I was a tester for that. That should do. Uh, the V3 base is absolutely remarkable. The V2 is also remarkable. Probably the V3 base is probably the best base I've used. I put it alongside Kaizen. Just wet the face. Very nice. Okay. Let's uh, lather up. Absolutely gobs of lather here. <laughs> Jeans. It just smells so zingy. That's actually the way I would put it. It's a zingy sort of citrus, which I really like. I 
I loaded it with quite a wet brush, which explain, explains quite a lot of protolather. This is a perfect scent coming into the winter months. I mean, summer months, it's all winter. To be honest, judging by New Mexico winters, I'd probably prefer it to be winter to summer. The summers here suck. Too hot for me. That's for damn sure. Almost chucked the brush on the floor. <laughs> and that wouldn't have been good, would it? God, what am I like? Would have felt like a right idiot. Just, just throwing the, book, throwing the brush on the floor. Man. It's getting everywhere, this. Which is fine, you know what I mean? I don't have an appointment to see the Queen or anything, so. And even if I did. I think she'd forgive me with some lather everywhere. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I uh, was shaving with Talbot and it got, got everywhere. Oh, I know, darling. Talbot, Talbot is quite the messy one. You are forgiven. Fucking hell, I can't remember this being so voluminous, voluminous. Where's my grandma? It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. I may have overloaded this, frankly, but I, I, I mean, I guess we'll find out if that's an issue. Where are we? We're at seven minutes. We're fine. Seven minutes for me is a rapid lather. not there yet, quite frankly. Okay, paint some water in. But for me, the sign of peaks is the sign of air, and I don't like air. Unless it's for breathing, and then it's quite useful. But aside from that, take the air away. I'm gonna keep going with this until I'm happy that it's hydrated. Big lather, lather everywhere here. Don't worry, Jack. Just throw lather, lather on your chest. It's not a problem. I think we're good. Talbot is super easy to work with, in my experience. Is my towel there? Yeah, it is. Can't see it. I'm going blind. To be fair, I don't have my specs. My spectacles, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Hopefully this blade's okay. If I feel it's shit, <laughs> I'm gonna take it out and replace it, but it should be fine. I found that blades that aren't stainless tend to work well for me. Okay, charcoal goods level two with the uh, Rapira Platinum Lux. Feels fine.
Feels good. Very slick, so I'll give you that. I'm going to be having to shave pretty quick, I think. Between you and me, if I was to recommend you a, a razor with blade fill that wasn't the car fire plates, it would be that over the carbon every single day of the week. Um, there's no comparison for me. I think that looks better, frankly. I've told you before, I'm not a huge fan of polish, and frankly, <laughs> for one, I think it's because people don't do it properly, and two, I think it's because uh, it scratches really easily, and that irritates me. Yeah, we're going to be done pretty quick, but that's fine. Let's go cross grain on this pass. Man, this race is uh very efficient but it's smooth. So how are you guys? I I'm, I'm doing okay, you know I'm getting all this stuff. Kind of like you need to at the moment, frankly. I've not, uh, I've not had any bad habits. I've heard of a lot of people struggling with what they're eating. I'm doing okay at the moment. Hmm. What happened here? The scent on this is really nice. Like I've said before, I'm not a huge citrus head, but I, I, I do enjoy orange. Orange is uh, probably what I would choose. Where are we for time here? Oh, we're well, destroying it. Have a bit of a fill. Usual spots, really. Kind of under here.
Perfect. Point then. Okay, let's get this loose shit. Or soap around it. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, do what I normally do. Get this on. And, uh, I guess I'll see you guys for the post shave. I'll be right back. Hey guys, it's, uh, it's post shave time. That was a really easy shave, frankly. Zero complaints. Talbot's a very easy soap base to work with. I think I overhydrated it just a little bit, but let's uh, go with the male grooming splash. Sean was the one that created this scent. So I haven't smelt this after shave. Whoa, oh, oh man, Jesus Christ, it's orange, it's like bright orange, can you see that? Look at it, it's orange. Oh, male grooming, how much I love you. Oh man, that is quite the treat, I'm telling you. If you like orange, you've got to get this, honestly. Uh, I don't know if West Coast Shaving have any, but Carv uh, stocked this. If, if, you, if you want orange, that's so orange. Oh, wow. Well. It's quite euphoric, actually. Okay, let's recap what I used and I'll let you guys go. Mel Grooming, Talbot Shaving, Tangerine, remarkable. I actually love this. It's. It's so playful, it's very simple, yet it's just lovely. Razor of choice today was the Charcoal Goods Level 2, and inside that I had a my first use of a Repairer Platinum Lux, and it was a very nice blade, so I'm going to be buying some more of those. My brush was my That Dom Rob X Turn and Shave um, Goblet of Fire with a V3 tip knot. Very nice brush. And for me, the star of the show, I, I, this, this splash, this punches you in the face with tangerine. Like, imagine you like tangerine and tangerine didn't like you and it just went smash. That's what that does. That smells, man, that smells just like tangerine. Ah, oh, wow. Great shave. Check out the Razorburn podcast. Link's in the description below. I spoke to Kerry from Phoenix and Bow. I know I'm going to keep plugging this over the next week and you need to get used to it. Uh, if you think the video audio is shit, which I have to agree, um, I was too quiet, I forgive you for that. There are several options for audio podcast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, etc. You can find us all there. I've edited the audio version and the audio version sounds much better, so I'd, I'd bear that in mind. Um, over the next few weeks, I'm going to, I have a huge giveaway. Um, I'm gonna be giving away this guy. This is an aluminum Christopher Bradley razor. This is pretty hard to get hold of at the moment. There's a reason I have two, and most of it is due to the fact that we changed anodizer, and with the change of anodizer, there's a different color scheme, to a degree. That is the V1, I have the V2. They both shave the same, they just look slightly different. I'm probably gonna do that for a thousand subscriber giveaway, honestly. I'm gonna start it at 900, and uh, when I hit a thousand, I'll announce the winner of the giveaway. There probably won't be loads of people that have entered, but I'm going to try and keep it between us. Uh, yeah, so I guess thank you for joining me today. Uh, I had a remarkable shave, a very zingy, um, <laughs> zesty shave, which was fantastic. But yeah, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Grim. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.